the moment I've been getting this far uh, just on my own. I really think it's time that I take things up a notch and be with the real sharks. Nice beard. Hi sharks, my name is Chris Tabone. I'm the director of Coda Sail, a travel company that provides cruises on the Dalmatian coastline in Croatia, in Europe. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. For young professionals in the mid 20s to late 30s age range. Now, I don't usually like to see sharks in front of me when I'm on my boat. <laughs> However, I am here today to offer you 10% stake for $180,000. Now, the idea started way back in 2010 when I was traveling through Europe. I fell into a job as a tour guide with a youth travel brand, which was amazing. And at that point, I learned a lot about the travel industry. I had so many passengers on my past tours that have said, Chris, when we come back to Europe, what can we do? We do not want to be going around with our young drunk self and as sure as hell do not want to be going around with our parents. <laughs> and that's when the light bulb went off, that there was nothing in between. So I created tours that were specifically for the young professional age bracket. From word of mouth, I was able to get that first tour on the water and I had um, one tour departure in 2015. And then in 2018, I'm up to nine tour departures. Oh, wow. Uh, the boat can fit 38 passengers, and up until this day, every single tour has been full. Now, this has led to Coda Sail winning back-to-back -back titles in the Sailing Tour of the Year Award. But someone once told me that charisma can only get you so far. So I'm here today to take it to the next level and turn Coda Sail into a global brand for the young professional travel market. Who's ready to get on board? <laughs> I like it. Oh, Chris, what a fabulous presentation. Thank you. But just to recap, you're looking for $180,000 for 10%, yes. valuing your business at $1.8 million. Yes. Thank you. I tell you, where charisma doesn't get you, mate, that beard will. That's fantastic. Thank you. I've been working on it for quite a while. Sell, sell, me, sell me one of your sailing tours. How would you do that? So. The sailing tour is a seven day tour. Seven days. We run on the Dalmatian coastline, which is from Split down to Dubrovnik. We provide a bit of class without breaking the bank. <laughs> How much does it cost? So a seven day tour, the average cost is about 1,900 Australian dollars. So why don't you uh, tell us a bit about the business side of it? Uh, so 2017, I had a turnover of 440,000 with a profit of 230,000. Oh, wow. This year, I will be getting towards 630,000 turnover for $350,000 profit. <laughs> Huge. How do, how, do, how, do you, how do you get a customer? What's it cost to acquire a customer? So this is where I haven't actually spent a lot of money on advertising. I've hardly put any money into Google and hardly put any money into Facebook. So at a 230 grand profit, you'd keep 200. Is that fair oh, characterisation? 227. <laughs> Are you the person who does the nine tours? Yes, at the moment, but I want to take a step back and I want to learn to be more of a businessman rather than a fun tour guide. So how many months do you work? How many weeks do you work? I don't do very much work. <laughs> <laughs> In Croatia, I'm there for the summer. So for instance, um, for the nine weeks, I will go for 10 weeks. You've got a bloody good job. I have a pretty good job. I really enjoy <laughs> what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so it's a pretty lazy business, Chris. Yeah. Um, um, and so, so it, 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 let's say someone invested, right? We, we're not going to invest to keep you lazy. I mean, this, is, this, will, this will turn from a vacation company into a real company. So that's that, a big thing you've got to consider, right? Yeah. You, you, may, you may not have as much time off and you actually have other people to answer to. So I hope you're ready for that. Why do you want investment? You, you're taking home... Yeah, big money. Yeah. yeah, you're doing well. This is, for me, now easy. I, I could have just taken that back seat, but I like to grow internationally. I'm, I'm here because you guys are the experts. Are you ready for the blowtorch? Are you ready to work hard? I'm definitely ready to work hard. It's never been a question of my work ethic. I just can't sit still. I mean, I think you've done something obviously very clever about connecting with millennials, and that is a very specialised market, so well done on that. He's nailed something, he's nailed something with his crowd. He's got a very low cost business because it's just him. But the opportunity will scale up and will get better. All right, mate, I'm in. We're gonna turn this into a real business and we're gonna get there and we're gonna set this travel market on fire. So 
I'll, I'll do 180 grand for 20%. How's that? Think about it. You don't rush. Do you know my background? Yeah, a little, yep. I worked seven years yep. um, in this industry. So basically I've done Corsica, Sardinia, Portofino, did the Caribbean, um, you yep. know, so. Start the name drop. But I sort of have that area that you haven't got. Um, I'm prepared to do a deal. I'll give you your 180K for 30%. 30%. I got the branding, I know the market, I've lived and breathed it. I've, you know, I know what the med's like, I know the tourism industry. How would I expand with you to other destinations outside of the Mediterranean? Whatever you want to do and however you want to achieve it, you set the plan, then you go off and chase it. I, I think that sounded like you want to know what she was going to and how she was going to add value to your business. I don't think she answered. She has done nothing to convince. 30%. You, all right, you know just, what I just have write her off. Write her off. What are you going to put a little ad on your boost cup? Yeah, that's what that I'm going to do. Work. I'm going to put an ad on my boost cup. That's going to happen. Where he gets value is from and someone who has got to her, tenacity. Steve's offered you twenty. Yeah. He is so rude. Like if you if you let people talk, he might actually hear what the offer is. But no, if you just want to keep blabbing, blab away, honey. Chris, what I see is you actually need infrastructure. You're the artist pulling it together, but what I think you need is really back office support. So I'm going to make you an offer too. So the offer is $180,000 for 33% of your business. You know, everything they're talking about, that's all out there available at commercial terms. Admin is basic, some bookkeeping. So what they're offering is, is not that great. <laughs> so you're, you're offering more, are you? He's full of shit. My experience is to find great people as founders yep. and then support them on their journey and not try and take it over and hijack it. So your offer is? Oh, 5% by the sounds of it. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm happy to match Steve, 180K for 20%. Chris, well done. You got four offers from four shows. Yeah. I think I'm going to bail out gracefully. Uh, I'm not right. sure I'm the right partner for you, but good luck to you. I'm out. Which one of these sharks do you think you could work with the most? Wow. I want to do this deal somehow. I'd have no problem with uh, uh, partnering with Janine on this deal as well. Yeah. I'll keep my offer at 20% and I'll go with the halves for her at 30%. Do you think two sharks can work together? I really don't think they can. I don't either. Our, our audience would notice a lot of bickering that goes at the far end of this. And that's what you don't want in a board meeting for sure. You want a clear direction. <sighs> what you'll get by having two sharks is you've got one, this is my passion, you know, the travel and experiences and, you know, Steve, you know, if you want to actually reach the rest of the world, yeah. then Steve with his tech can do it. Well, we've got Steve on his own at 20%, Janine yeah. on her own at 30% yeah. together. 30%, uh, yeah. they'll take 15% each yeah. for your 180,000. We've got Naomi here at 33% and Glenn 180,000 at 20%. What are you going to do? Um, I just don't want to give away so much of my business. The 30% kind of scares me a little bit. Make him a counter offer. Hey, can you just settle down for a second? Oh, I think Andrew, like, it's exactly what I need to go to. Like, I'm happy to take 10 and 10 to make it 20%. No, it's not enough. It's hard to care for 10. No? No. Chris, you've got two people over here. They're not chopped liver, though. Yeah. Chris, what is your gut feel telling you? Who do you think you can work with? Chris, I'll make it easy, mate. I'm out in about 10 seconds, so make your mind up. Either these parents at the other end are going to muck around and, and, and play around, yep. or you've got someone who's serious. I know the pieces of the puzzle you need to put together to support you. So 10 seconds, I'm out. 10, 9, Do it in your head. 8, 7, Six, um, five, 
four, three, I, two, um, one. Chris, I'll make it easy, mate. I'm out in about 10 seconds, so make your mind up. Chris owns a tour company that specialises in sailing holidays along the Croatian coast. Four sharks are on board, but Glenn is threatening to jump. So 10 seconds, I'm out. 10, nine. Do it in your head. Eight, seven, six, um, five, four, three. Oh, sorry, Glenn. Two. I don't want to be pressured into making one, a big decision, so. Out. Exploding vet. <laughs> the countdown's done. The vet's exploded. We're all good, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. If you cannot be definite about what you need to do in life, I'm out. Yep. All right. Fair enough. Thanks, Glenn. Chris, you are going to need to make a choice, Dal. OK. Um... Can we split the, split the difference? In... Steve and Janine are asking for 25%. One quarter of your business for 180. So make a decision. Come on. Yeah. Um... I um, don't walk out without a deal. Don't walk out without a deal. <sighs> yeah. I really want this to go to the next level. I really think that um, there's an opportunity here. And uh, I think I would like to take a deal. Yeah! Take the deal! Ripper! Thanks, mate. Oh, my God, no worries. Well done. <laughs> Look at these two partners. They're amazing. Yeah. You just have to change the rage so I can go along. Yeah. 48. All right, thank you so much. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Well, that's great. Yeah. Go for it, Chris. You got those sharks swimming. I did it. <laughs> wow. That's going to be great business. You're in the travel business. I did not expect four sharks to be fighting over my business when I started it all those years ago. Something I've never dreamed of. That's going to require a small war in the, in the Mediterranean for us to fail, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll have our board meetings in the Caribbean. Oh, hell yes.